This is Yayi Joyce and welcome to Sacred Stories. If you need me for spiritual counseling, you know where to find me, yayijoyce.com, Y-A-Y-I-J-O-Y-C-E.com. Today's sacred story is called The Potter's Wheel. There once was a potter who was going through many life's difficulties. His wife no longer wanted to be with him and left the home. His children blamed him for everything. His mom wasn't feeling well. And to top it off, there were a few potters that he employed that were out sick. But what really laid heavy on his heart was his wife. He cried out to God and said, God, are you listening? He cried out, Nenzambi Mampungu, which is a name for God. Are you listening to me? And much to the potter's surprise, Nenzambi Mampungu actually answered and said, Yes, I hear you loud and clear. The potter jumped out of his seat and said, Oh my God, you really do answer. I always answer. I don't think you always answer, said the potter. There are many times that I've asked for advice and I didn't hear a thing. Did you not hear me crying out to you to say, save my marriage? What am I to do to get this woman to see things the way that I need her to see them. Then Zombie Mampungu said, I need you to go to your potter's wheel. I want you to pick up a lump of clay. The potter start mumbling, I don't see what this is going to do, but I'll do it. And the potter sat down and picked up a lump of clay. Then Zombie Mampungu, the creator, God said, I want you to shape it into a rough circle, a sphere, a circle-ish. So the potter threw it into the spinning potter's wheel. It landed off center. I want you to shape that into a smooth cylinder, said Nenzambi Mampungu, the creator god. The potter began carefully beginning to shape it into a smooth cylinder. The potter worked the clay, stretching and compressing it as it turned. First into a tower. Then it was like a little mushroom. Only after bringing it up and down several times, does it slowly squeeze into shape? The potter was slowly squeezing and revolving the clay until its walls rise from the wheel.
The potter said, I can't go on too long for the clay will begin to tire and then sag. The potter began to give it a shape and form. And then set it aside. Then Zombie Mumpungu said, great, set it there. I'll be back to talk to you tomorrow, same time, same place. But God, are you not? And then Zombie, are you not going to answer my questions? I'll be back tomorrow, dear child, you wonderful potter. So the next day, at the same time, the same place, the creator, God, and Zombie Mumpungu arrived. Oh, let's see the wonderful pot. Let's see this wonderful clay. The clay was leather hard. The potter turned it over and said, I got to shape it a little bit more for it to be great for you, Ninzombi. So the potter began to shape the foot. And I want to add some nice decorations on here for you. And then zombie, since this is your vessel, I'm going to scratch into the surface some beautiful decorations. I hope you don't mind. And then zombie said, no, my dear child, create. Then zombie, you know that the bowl will have to go into the fire and then only, only option And once I put it into the fire, the shape cannot be changed. Is that okay with you? Are you okay with this bowl? I am okay with it. Are you okay that as the creator, I just give you a rough shape and throw you down into the center of your life. And in life, you must be stretched and compressed and just like that clay. You have to test the nature of things and as we shape the situation, just as you shaped this beautiful ball for me. We had to put it aside and leave it there to sort things out. And we have to put it in the fire. The closer some things come to completion, the harder and more definite and defiant it becomes. Oh, I see, said the potter. So in all of these things, my business, my children, my marriage, I'm being stretched and compressed and tested. And it's up to me to make something beautiful out of it. Not my wife, not my children. 
Not even my employees. Ha <laughs> ha. Nzambi Mampungu, you are so wise. I am putting this bowl in the fire for you and I am putting myself in the fire and changing my life around. Thank you for stretching me. The closer sometimes, the closer we get sometimes. Some, The closer we get Sometimes. Just sit with that. Just sit with that thought about times that you were growing close to something and it became difficult. It felt as you were like the clay at the potter's will. The closer some things come to completion the harder and more defiant it becomes. Our options sometimes become fewer because it's not the other people that need to change. It is our own selves. And until the full impact of our creation is all that there is and we are looking to fix who and what we are, to look at our own inner beauty that we can become, our own inner ugliness, our own inner flaws, our own inner joys, comes from the process of shaping What relationships in your life need a little shaping? So go to the potter's wheel in your life. Be the potter at the wheel. From centering to the finished pot, form increases as options decrease. Softness goes to hardness. Here's to shaping your life. Here's to being on the potter's wheel.